Hi everyone, this is Ken with another setup UVM interview questions. Today we are going to be going over uh, a question which commonly gets asked um, related to phases of a UVM component, which is list out all the phases and subphases of a UVM component. Alternatively, can you describe different phases of a UVM component? These questions can be asked very commonly, um, like even for a junior engineer, someone who is sort of like um, has a very little uh, UVM background um, or someone who is a little bit more experienced. Just, just so that you know, or the interviewer can to like assess uh, like how much of a hands-on experience you have with UVM. So what essentially is a UVM phase? So um, UVM phases essentially provide a mechanism uh, to the UVM component in the test bench to synchronize series of steps. This, in, uh, this essentially helps in maintaining consistency throughout the simulation process. So the first phase that we're going to go over is the build phase. This is a top-down function which essentially builds the TB hierarchy, configures the low-level components, and instantiates them. The next is a um, phase called the connect phase. This on the other hand is a bottom-up function which establishes um, which establishes the TLM connections between various UVM components. The next one is the end of elaboration. This is also a bottom-up function to make final changes before the simulation actually starts. These three phases fall under the category of build phases. Um, it, the main function of the build phases is to instantiate, configure, and connect UVM component across the test bench. The next uh, phase that we're going to be dealing with is called the start of simulation. This, again, is another function which executes in a bottom-up manner. This gets executed just before the simulation time starts to tick. It mainly is used uh, when we need to print out uh, test bench configs, topology, and like startup simulation messages and other such um, displays on information. The next one is the run phase. So once we are done with the startup simulation phase, next we um, reach the run phase. This, um, on the other hand, is a time-consuming phase, and that is why it is called a task, or it's a task essentially, it's not a function, because functions cannot be time-consuming. Um, the important distinction here to remember is that the run phases execute in a parallel fashion for all the components in the test bench. Um, mainly um, the stimulus is generated in this phase and all kinds of test bench requests and responses are monitored. Um, there are also um, 12 sub-run phases, uh, which we'll discuss in a little bit more detail uh, shortly. So these two phases together, along with the 12 sub-phases, which run in parallel with the run phase, um, um, are fall, um, essentially fall under the run phases. Um, and uh, basically, of course, this is, a, I mean, the run phase is the one which is um, consuming time, essentially. And that's why these are tasks. The next phase uh, is essentially, a again, a bottoms-up function, uh, which is used to extract and properly format um, 
scoreboard information um, so that uh, it's ready for the next phase uh, which essentially is the check phase check phase on the other hand again a bottoms up function that compares um, the actual uh, which could be the RTL output uh, with the expected data outputs from a model or something like that and it determines uh, what the mismatches and errors are essentially then the next phase in line is called the report phase um, again report is also a function which is used to depict results of the simulation or to write them into a file this includes errors um, from various checkers and the overall test status summary essentially gets reported and the uh, last phase as the name essentially suggests is the final uh, uh, phase which is also a function um, and it's used um, to finish up or complete any of the remaining uh, task before a simulation ends these four phases are called the cleanup phases essentially and all of these um, functions run from the bottom up uh, of the test bench hierarchy um, the main objective of the cleanup phases is to collect information from various monitors scoreboards um, that could be the coverage monitors um, to determine whether a particular test passed or failed um, and whether the test essentially executed and ended properly um, and was it able to achieve all its um, objectives including coverage objectives and other such things essentially so now uh, let's go into a little bit more detail about uh, the 12 run subphases. Um, the run subphases executes in a given order and um, essentially they run in parallel with the run phase. Um, and then uh, these run subphases are only meant, and this is an important thing to remember, um, to execute sequences for uh, the environment um, or the test bench like basically to start a sequence um, within an environment class or a uh, or a test class right um, they're not meant for um, like other kind of components for instance drivers scoreboards monitors so only the env and the test mm, all right uh, the Order of the subphases are essentially reset, configuration, uh, main, shutdown, and each of these um, have pre and post callback methods, uh, which sort of like provides us with more flexibility. So uh, the first of these subphases are the um, reset category ones. So you have the pre reset, the reset. And the post reset. So pre reset, as is shown, is launched in parallel here uh, with the. Um, it's essentially it's launched in parallel with the run phase, and essentially as the name suggests, um, it's to check for any precondition before uh, reset takes place. Um, or the, that is reset essentially. Um, so. And then, of course, the reset uh, happens in this particular phase and puts the dot in a default um, state. Or basically, all the registers are put in, um, like, um, get their default values and everything is basically, um, uh, you have uh, basically reset the dot, essentially. And, of course, the post reset is any activity uh, that is after uh, the dot has been reset. So something needs to be monitored or needs to be altered right after the reset takes place you want to use this so these pre and post are called back um, uh, methods uh, to sort of like aid uh, with these actual 
um, uh, functions uh, or rather reset task and all these other tasks. The next category of um, tasks are the pre-configure, configure, and the post-configure. Uh, so the configuration, as the name essentially suggests, is true. It's typically used to preload memories or uh, lookup tables, um, um, you know, to uh, program the bringer registers. Um, all the configs that are required to put the dot essentially in a ready state so that the test can finally start. The next category is the, um, or the next, uh, next phase is essentially the uh, main phase. So you have the pre-main, the main, and the post-main. Um, the, the main purpose of this, um, or this main task is, um, is that at this time, the stimulus is applied to the dot. Any kind of trigger events um, are executed so that the actual transfer of data takes place. Um, tr trigger events basically means, you know, some, some sort of a command register, something like that, that you program um, so that, you know, the transfer of data starts happening uh, from your test bench to your um, dot. Uh, the main phase uh, typically ends once all the uh, data that needs, uh, that was generated is sent over uh, to the dot side. All right. And once the main um, task ends uh, or main phase ends, then you go into the shutdown phase. The shutdown phase essentially drops its objection um, and ends when all the um, data is fully consumed by the dot. And like, and then you have some kind of a marker or an interrupt or status update that happens. This essentially communicates um, to the test bench that the dot is done, uh, processing everything, and it's time to shut down. In the post shutdown phase, um, uh, the post -shut shutdown phase is anything last minute update that needs to happen and this uh, coincides with the end of the run phase and the simulation essentially then moves on to the extract phase all right guys um that's about it um uh, do let me know if there are any other questions or comments or if there are any other topic you'd like me to cover Thanks again. See you in the next video.